Jesus Christ went about doing good and healing all, not some, as tempted if, all that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. And when he left, the Father said, I will send you the Holy Spirit. So if Jesus went about healing the sick, then the Holy Ghost is also going about healing every sick. Because he said, I'm going to send you a comforter. Jesus was one person. And every sick he met, he healed them all. There was no sick Jesus met and said, come back tomorrow. Every sick that met Jesus and wanted to be healed, they were healed. Even those who never knew him, he healed them. Jesus said, heal them all. Now today we don't have Jesus, we have the Holy Ghost. He's the healer. He will glorify Jesus. So wherever you are in the world, he is there with you. In the hospital is there. At home is there. All he needs from you is to look up to him in faith. He doesn't need any that. He doesn't need the money to be healed. He doesn't need to pay any money to be healed. All he needs is your faith in him now. He said by his stripes you were healed. He himself took our infirmities. Put your name there where he said our. Which means he took yours also. Matthew 8, 17. If he took our infirmities, then put your name amongst the ours. Of those whose infirmities have been taken, cancer has been taken away, 
HIV is taken away. Every disease is taken away. Blindness, deafness, dumbness. Your name in Matthew 8, 17. He said himself took our infirmities. How are you? Are inclusive? So every sickness in your body, he took all. So I came to announce to you wherever you are, if you believe God's word, not tomorrow, this same moment, I pronounce you healed in the name of Jesus. You're going to be healed later. You are healed right now in the name of Jesus. The word of God can't fail. So deaf ears are open. Dumb tongues are loosed. Blind eyes are open. Every pain lifts your body. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus. That you are mine. Lift up your hands. For you are so holy. someone here, you woke up with blood, strangely and you have been afraid, you are healed in Jesus name you woke up and blood came out of your nose you have been full of fear you are healed in Jesus name I give you praise there's somebody who has severe pain around your neck region, this point, you are healed in Jesus name, somebody with growth at your back, check the back visible growth Check the back. You'll be surprised. The body is smooth like a baby. That growth has vanished in the name of Jesus. God spoke to me clearly. Set your heart over the healing you desire. Just set your heart. Nothing else. Just say, Lord, I want to be healed in this area. You'll be healed in the name of Jesus. Just set your heart where you want the healing. I heard him clearly. Just set your heart this way. I want to be healed. And you will be healed. Whether I measure your case or not in the name of Jesus, it spoke to me clearly, set your heart. This is where I want to be healed. And on the spot now in the name of you, you will be healed. In Jesus' mighty name. This will be the one of the simplest healing services we ever heard. Everyone sick, check your body. Check your body, you are healed. I know it as I know my name. It will be one of the simplest ministration healing. Every sick, check that part of your body. If you set your heart, you won't find that sickness. It's gone in the name of Jesus. Now rush out to the right, to the left. Miracles have happened. I know it when I know when God speaks. Come to the right, to the left. Just check your body. You'll be shocked what God has done. To prove to you that I'm not a healer, is the healer. Everyone God has healed. The miracle belongs to you, but the testimony belongs to God. And any testimony not shared is a testimony lost. You can lose your testimony, not sharing it, because you overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies. So every time you testify, you put a seal on the miracle. 
Check yourself. You deaf ears are open. Dumb tongues are loose. Pains are gone. Lumps have gone. Just anything sickness that you set your heart towards Jesus, you are healed. We give you praise, mighty God. Mighty God, we give you praise. Injection abscess, you are healed. You had a on your right path. You are healed in Jesus' name. Now, listen to me. God has healed you. I know it is a no my name. Rush out to the front. I will take the testimony so we can go to hear God's word today. Ooh. There's someone with pain. You can't move your hand freely without pain. It's move that hand. You are healed. Someone with tremor is healed in Jesus' name. Your hand she shakes like this uncontrollably. You are healed in the name of Jesus. All stamina thongs are healed. All stamina are healed in the name of Jesus. Somebody with tonsillitis is healed in Jesus' name. There's a child brought to this service with a severe high fever. That child has fever. Check, yeah, you know, mother, the child is healed. Touch the body, you'll be surprised. No temperature at all. Perfect. Ooh, God is so humorous. As I'm talking, he said the child will ask for biscuit. Very specific. That's how you know. He said, Mommy, biscuit. Specific. That child is healed perfectly. In the name of Jesus. I vow never to take your glory. In the name of Jesus. Sing it. Amen. Someone with a ringy sensation, you are healed in Jesus' name in your ears. Ooh. As if there's water, you are healed in Jesus' name. Lumps have gone in the name of Jesus. lady said for two years she has had severe migraine on the right side of her head and she said she couldn't even look at light every time she looks up she has severe pain she's been to the doctors and for two years nothing has been done she came into the service with severe pain she said as soon as you started ministering the pain completely disappeared for the first time no in, two in two years she years. Was the pain. no pains in two years i'm not feeling it no pains pardon me I'm not feeling any form of pain. No pains. Give Jesus. That hand is for you. The power of the Holy Ghost. No pains in your body. In the name of Jesus. The power of the Holy Ghost go through your body. In Jesus' name. In 
Jesus' mighty name. That's the end of that sickness in Jesus' name. Pastor. Give, give me a big hand. Yes. Pastor, he came to church with severe chest pain. Somebody is healed that has toothache problem. You are healed. The tooth is supernaturally filled the hole in Jesus' name. Yes. He came to church with severe chest pain. He said it was so distressing that he cannot bend to touch his toes. But as he gave the word of knowledge, immediately the pain the disappeared. Pain's left. The pain's left. Yes, sir. You do what you could not do. No pains. No pain. Give Jesus a hand. The power of the Holy Ghost, Father, touch you. Go and enjoy your life. Yes. Pastor, you gave a word of knowledge concerning someone with severe neck pain that could not turn his neck. He said for the past one month, he had that even as he was in the um, 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 service today. But as the word came forth, immediately the pain Move disappeared. He cannot turn his neck. No pains yes, for one month? Yes, sir. That's very discomforting. Mm. Give Jesus a hand. Mm. Are you happy? Pastor, yes. This man shared with me three years ago while he was playing football, he had a dislocation on his right shoulder. And he also went for surgery, but ever since then, he's been went in for severe surgery. pain. He couldn't lift up his right hand, but instantly he was he able to do that for three years. Instantly he hold, got... it. hold it. He went for surgery and couldn't lift that hand. Get it clear. And now it's simple, very simple. You are giving Jesus a hand. Move that hand. All God told me, said, tell my people to set their heart. And then I will heal them all. He gave Jesus a hand, amen. Are you clapping for him? In other words, all that went to Jesus, he healed them. He said to me, tell them to look up to me and I will heal them. Whatever sickness they have, and I will heal them. And I just obeyed. And he's healing every sick. When they went to Jesus, did they vibrate? Did he hear anywhere but to be healed? You don't have to vibrate to be healed. Just set your faith, a simple faith, and then you get healed. And he's the healer. No matter where you are, whether in the hospital, wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost is there. I command and I pronounce you healed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You happy, sir? Huh? Yes, sir. You know, you are here. I'm very, so, so surprised. It shows it just you. Like You're a, surprised? A movie, yes, sir. You, you come again. Is that what? It just happened like a movie. I mean, I've it says it happened like a movie. Yes, uh, yes, that's why God is the actor. We are just watching the movie. And we're in the movie. He's the, God is the actor. He says like a movie. It's like a what? Movie. He's surprised. A hand, a hand. He has done surgery. He couldn't move it. Now he says like a movie because we didn't hold his hand to start moving it. Be healed. Be healed. Very simple. Very what? And we told her, God said to me to be one of the simplest healing sessions. Very simple. Power of the Holy Ghost go through your body. In Jesus' name. Yes. <laughs> Lift him. <laughs> God, enjoy your life. Move your hand one more time. No pain. Enjoy your life. Amen. Give just a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Doctor, yes. <laughs> Pastor. Yes. For five years. For five years? She had galactoria. That That's breast? abnormal breast milk discharge. For 18 years, she also had galactoria. Excuse 18 me? 18 years. She says her husband is in church. He is fully aware. 18 years? For 18 years and for five years. You won't give me both Jesus had a hand. <laughs> Pastor. Holy. They have been on medications. Huh? They have been on medication. She says for two years she has been on medications. She says she has gone, she has taken so many drugs, but to no avail. They both came yesterday, and after the word of knowledge yesterday, they both got healed. The breast milk has completely disappeared. Are you giving Jesus a hand on the shadow of face? Come, two of you come. Are you happy? And two of them are married women. 
don't cry, don't cry, he loves you, don't cry, don't cry. Take something and wipe your eyes. You don't have handkerchief? Huh? Take. Yeah. He loves you. He loves you. For five years and for 18 years, you are not breastfeeding, then breast milk coming out. But God healed them in a very simple way. He loves you. He loves you. The power of the Holy Ghost. Are you singing at all? I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Pastor. Yes. Pastor. This man said, since he knew himself, he had never seen something from a distance. That is hypermetropia. Worst in the night, he does not see very well. So he always moves with touchlight. His elder brother has the same condition. He was sitting right there. And while the music was going on, he could see things passing through, but he could not read it. But suddenly, he discovered that he can read that thing. Instant miracle. Are you giving Jesus a shout? Are you clapping for the King of our kings? I want to jump on your feet and give God a shout of praise. How marvelous is our God. Come. Are you happy, sir? You're very happy, sir. He loves you. He says as long as he can ever remember. Father, thank you for healing him. Jesus. Ah. Yes. Pastor, yes. this is the son of the lady that just testified that she had Galactoria for 18 years. You are the son? Yes, sir. Immediately the mother got healed. He had a tooth hole for over four years. Immediately it was miraculously filled. Will you give Jesus? <laughs> Hallelujah. Your mother doesn't look like having a big boy like this. See, he has a very good body. That's her son healing for the whole family. She, 18 years, he hole in the tooth. God healed. After how many years? Four years. Four years. years. So the whole family, is, your father has anything for a miracle? It's like God is just touching the entire family, man. Eh? <laughs> so Joyce, a service group. You know what? We get healed by faith, we stay healed by service. You get healed? We stay healed. Service. If you don't serve God, you may lose your healing. You stay healed by serving God, and then faith combines it. If you don't serve God, you may lose your healing. That's what many people say, I get healed, but I had the sickness come back. You get healed and stay healed by serving God. Yes. Pastor. Doctor. This, <laughs> this lady said she, had, she has had recurring palpitations for two years which is awareness of her own heartbeat. She said last year she went to the hospital and they gave her medications and she's been on that medication for a year. She said, but it, it came back fully and this time more aggressively. Yesterday when she came to the service, she said it was so severe that she could hear and she was having headache. It, it came with headache. And right in this service, as soon as the started ministering, the palpitation ceased, the headache ceased, everything Everything gone, no heartbeat, you are free. Hmm? Say power of the Holy Ghost. Power of the Holy Ghost. Go through my hands. Go through my hands. And touch your daughter. And touch her. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' now name. Now tell you, lay your hands on her. You see the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name. Ah. Yeah, you that is the Holy Ghost, you two are going there. Hey. Both the, both the one who touched and the one who received, all of them are touched. Pastor, yes. for two years, 
She's been experiencing knee pain on her right leg. She was unable to flex her knee. And even while she walks, she limps while walking. But right in this service, she can walk freely without any pain. Do something you could not do for two years. Something you couldn't do that without pains. There was severe pains before, no pain. Give Jesus a hand. That hand is for you, it is for Jesus. You happy? Thank God, yes. Pastor, yes. for one week, this young man had toothache and it's made it difficult for him to clench his teeth or to chew without pain. But right here in the service, during the ministration, the power of God touched him. And right now, he, he can clench his teeth. He doesn't no feel pain. any pain. No pain? Yes, sir. I'm from Akwaibom? No, sir. Where are from? Ebony State. Ebony State? Yes, sir. Ah, Kedu? Udodi. <laughs> Yes. Pastor, a month ago, he had a domestic accident where he injured his elbow, the right elbow. And since then, he's been experiencing pain that radiates from the elbow to the shoulder, to the back, and to the lower part of his waist. And since then, he's been unable to use the hand properly. Which of the hands? The right. The right one? Yes, sir. But while you were ministering right here in this do service. Something. You couldn't do that before freely? And now you're free? Give Jesus a hand. This baby came here with furunculosis, otherwise known as boils. But immediately in right in this service, in her very eyes, she said all the boils are dried up. I examined it. None. Are you it not dried up. Jesus a shot. Are you giving him a shot of praise? You know, God is so humorous. He does these things perfect. He doesn't have to do things haphazardly. He does them perfect. Baby with clean skin. Hmm? Even if they give you antibiotics, it will not clear immediately. But God is a good God. To him we give all. Give Jesus a hand. Clap for the king of all kings. In the world, God told me long ago, as long as I don't take the glory, he will not stop doing what he wants to do. I thought I said it would be one of the simplest healing sections. If you watch, now nothing. All that I used to minister was asked 1038. Jesus went about doing And the Holy Ghost has come to glorify Jesus. So anybody who believes, anybody who believes, whether it's cancer, you'll be healed. Even if it's cancer, you'll be what? Don't look up. It doesn't, look, God doesn't have to do special things. He's God. Cancer means nothing to God. HIV means nothing to God. It's you that call it special. There's no special case with God. The same way he heals the boils, the same way we heal cancer. So cancer leaves, HIV leaves, terminal cases leave your body. Somebody who says, amen, you are healed in Jesus' name. Yes. Pastor, what God does for one, he does for all. From childhood, she can't see things from afar, which is hypermetropia. And she came to this service. She said she's been using these glasses since 2014. It's associated with severe pain in her eyes. Right in this service, she got her healing. We asked her to look towards the doors and she could identify everything from a distance. She's completely made Give more. Jesus a hand. <laughs> Miracles everywhere. Say thank you, Jesus. If you're saying that, say it better. You're happy? You can see well now. Very well. Glory to God. Give me a big hand. Yes. Pastor, for four years, she had an abnormal genital discharge. And she said she's gone for many investigations and they keep giving her conflicting results and different kinds of treatments but it had persisted. She came with that discharge yesterday, expecting a miracle. And she said, after you ministered, the discharge dried up. She went home to observe herself. And since then till now, that discharge has- Will you give Jesus a shot? <laughs> Young lady, go Pastor, and enjoy your life from today. Pastor, that's not all. Because of the condition, she, it became complicated with something we call a neuresis. 
she's, well, it's bedwetting. And somehow she had been bedwetting for four years. But pastor, after she got healed, she said she wrote that she doesn't want to see it this year and came with it for the 31st December night. And she dropped it. After it was burnt in the fire, Pastor, that thing ceased. Although she was shy to testify, but she decided to open up today. And that is well, for you have testified. That miracle is perfect in the name of Jesus. That you could come out to testify. Whatever is a miracle in your life has granted you this hour. The Lord beautify your life. Use as a point of contact for every other person. Power of the Holy Ghost beautify you in Jesus' name. Give what Jesus a hand. Can do. You are clapping what for yourself. Give him a big hand. I hear God as a man hears his friend. Said to me, the same power I heal, the same power I make people fruitful. Now without any stress, the same Holy Spirit breathe his power on anyone looking for the fruit of the womb. Worldwide wild in Jesus' name. You are declared fruitful. Standing in the car for your sister, for your brother, for yourself, you are declared fruitful. In the name of Jesus. What a night. It's a good God. We have to just share God's word. The miracles are so simple. So what? So simple. Because of the doer. I did nothing. You did nothing. He did it all. Shall we tell him? Thank you. Let's thank him. Let you sing that song. Let's thank him consciously. Lift up your voice and thank him. Thank him. Tell him thank you. Open your mouth and tell God thank you. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank, are you telling God thank you at all? Tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus.
Just worship him. He's the one who did it all. So we worship you, Almighty God. We lift you up on high. That's not like you, Almighty God. Oh, you are the So we worship. Father, we thank you. Consciously, we ascribe every glory to you. We are grateful to you. We are only instruments in your hands. We say thank you. No glory. We ascribe to ourselves all we give back to you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Today is winning with praise part three. Yet this truth, there is no idol world in scriptures. God means what he says and says what he means. Everything God says is important to man. God does not speak idol words. Praising him is not entertainment. So you don't see praise as entertainment. We don't do it when we don't have something to do in church. Many think praise is just to cover time or part of worship. No, that's not true. In Psalm 67 verse 3, it says, let the people praise the word let means make happen. Let the people praise thee, O oh God. He repeat again. Let all, not some. So praise is not optional. He said let all. So you cannot exempt yourself because you are amongst the all. He said let all the people, not some of the people. All the people. Let means make it happen. You don't say, I feel like. That is not correct English. You don't feel like you praise. I, I feel like praising. You don't have to feel like. You have to praise him. It is not optional. It's a commandment. Let all the people praise thee, O oh God. So I will praise you. Now you understand, you hear me well. Whatever you don't believe, God cannot make happen. If you don't believe that God can make this happen through praise, then forget it. 
If you like sing from now till tomorrow, it will never produce results. You should believe that if you praise him, the things he said he would do through praise, he will do. Then praise will have meaning. If you just do anything because they say you should do it without understanding, you will never get any outstanding results. Anything God says you should do, make sure you do it with understanding and expectation that this which he says you should do, if I do it, then this is my expectation. So I hear. In Exodus chapter 15 verse 11, which is the key scripture for the month. He said, who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Many want to see the wonders of God. What all the testimonies, as I was praising God, this happened. As I praised God, this happened. As I praised God, this happened. You will be the next wonder to your world. Amen. That amen is so weak. Amen. If God says you praise him, he will do wonders, then believe the word. That's where I'm going. Then believe what? If he says, if you praise him, he will do wonders, then believe the word. Because... He came unto his own and his own received him not. John 1, 11 and 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become. So the world you don't receive, you cannot become it. Listen carefully. So you don't think that dancing is issue. The moment Mary was told she would have a child without a man, Bible said, she received the word, and God said, Blessed is she that what? Believeth. There shall be a performance. So, the word you don't receive has no ability to perform any miracle in your life. If I hear God's word and I don't receive it, it is useless. I have to receive the word of God, then God will make that word a reality in my life. Is somebody getting what God said here? Glory to God. Now, listen carefully. I have to have faith in the word of God. That what God says, he will do, he will, because he does not speak idle words. In the book of Psalm 56 and verse 10, in God will I praise his word. In God will I praise his word. So when I take God's word, any scripture, and I praise him for that scripture, listen carefully, please listen so you can get this. When I take God's word and I praise him with that scripture, that scripture will become real in my life. Let me explain what I mean. It said, and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Listen carefully. In the beginning, and the word, the word is not visible. Let me, let me take this. The world in the beginning was not visible. Nobody sees the world. Can you see any word? You can't see God's word. Be fruitful. Who can see it? Tell me where you saw be fruitful. It's not visible. But the visible is the baby. Be fruitful. Can you see it? No. But that's the word. Now that word becomes flesh. Becoming a child. So that is what we mean, the word became, you now see a baby based on the word, which is invisible. My ability to receive that word is what makes the baby to be formed. Go, get a miracle job. Is it visible? No. Based on Isaiah 3 verse 10. But now if I receive that word, I see myself being employed. It made flesh. I mean, understand what I'm going to say here. So your praise makes the word Become flesh. And God will I praise his word. So when I take God's word and praise him, the word will become real in my life. I mean, you can get what I'm talking about here. Glory to God. So we are not just dancing. We dance based on the word of God. 
So expect that everything you praise God for will become real in your life. Say so save it. And you know why? Let me explain it deeper. In the beginning, if you read the book of 1 John, chapter 5, 7 and 8, it said there are three that bear record in heaven. The Father. Look at this. What did he call? What did he say? What did he say? And what? The Holy Ghost. So in the beginning, there was no son. In the beginning, it was the word. God the Father, God the word, and God the Holy Ghost. The word came down and entered the woman's womb called Mary. And then the word became flesh, John 1, 14. And the word, which we saw in 1 John 5, 7, was made what? And dwelled. That word now became a seed in a woman's womb. Called who? And then she now gave birth to Jesus. And then we had God, the son. The word came and became human. And now we have son. True? When I say God, the father. God, the son. When the beginning it was God, the word. So when I praise God, any word I praise him will become real in my life that people shall see the testimony. So after tonight, what you have praised from the beginning of this meeting to today and once you praise again will become real in everyone's life. How many can get what the Bible is saying here? Say to be real in my life. I don't doubt the word of God. I'm going to praise God and every word will become real. In Jesus name. Amen. Glory to God. You believe the word of God? So I believe it. Say it one more time. Say it like a child of God. So tonight we'll be looking at another four wonders to expect. God is fearful in what? Doing. So this month just be expecting what? Wonders. This month is a month of wonders. Be expecting wonders. Every day you take some wonders and then you just go ahead. The wonders make you to stop wondering. One wonder stops a wondering. If you have a wonders in financial favor, you stop wondering as a beggar. If you have wonders in marriage, you stop wondering as single. You have wonders in fruitfulness, you stop wondering as a body woman. You have wonders in breakthrough, you stop wondering as a sofa head. True? So everywhere, wonders, wonders, wonders. And when you're a wonder, I say wonder is simply when you are what? A wonder. Wonder is simply when you are what? And when you're a wonder, is simple when people say, ah. And they will say, wow, concerning you. They will say what? Wow. Very soon you'll be the next wow. Yeah. So the four wonders to expect. The first wonder to expect is supernatural favor. Supernatural what? Favor. Now, expect it. Or if you don't expect it, even if you dance, it's nonsense. Expect it. Expect that after tonight, they will call you liars. A praiseful life is a favored life. Favor is the cure to fruitless labor. Let me say this to you. Riches is not necessarily by labor. <laughs> Israel labored for 430 years. How many 30 years? In Egypt, nothing to show for it. And in Exodus chapter 3, when he said was coming out of Egypt, Exodus chapter 3 verse 21, he said, I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. It shall come to pass that when you go, you shall not go what? Empty. Favor terminated their long years of suffering. The favor of today will terminate your long years of suffering. He said, in his favor is life. Psalm 35 to 7. 
For his anger endured but for a moment. In his favor is life. So when favor comes, you live longer. There are people who died because of hardship. Favor, have you seen some people who say they are sick and then the moment they get money, the fever left. You don't know? Some people have BP problem. It's just money. The temperature will come down straight if money comes out. All the BP will vanish. Some of the high blood pressure is simply hypertension. It's simply the, thing, the tension they are passing through is what is making the thing to be hyper. It's a compound word, hyper plus tension. Separate the two, there will be no sickness. They are very hyper because there's so much tension around them. Have you not seen people you give money and then they, they breathe like this? <sighs> Today, God will favor you. He yeah. said, We people endure for a night, but joy come in the morning. And my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountains to stand strong. It means favor makes you stand out. That is the meaning of that scripture. From this day, favor will make you stand out. Yeah. Favor will make anybody favor stands out. Mary favored. She stood out. Joseph favored. He stood out. Once you are favored, you do what? From today, you and I will enjoy favor. We will stand out wherever we are in the name of Jesus. If you're a believer, say the amen based on the word of God. High praises releases you from hard labor. High praise releases from what? From hard labor. Let them praise his name in the dance. Psalm 149, 3 and 4. Let them sing praises unto him with the timbrel and what? Harp. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people. And he will beautify the meek with salvation. The praise of today will beautify your life in the name of Jesus. Anywhere there's beautification, there'll be favor. There'll be what? Favor, favor. you'll beautify your life. Decorate you like this. Put you on the showcase. Everyone that comes, they call you a liar's favor. Labor has ended in someone's life in the name of Jesus. Hard labor will never be your portion. If you are not enjoying favor, something's wrong. One of the benefits of redemption is what? Favor. Anywhere you go, they favor you. You don't have to buy a house by labor. They buy a house by favor. You don't have to get the next... Look, King Solomon was very rich. Yeah, they were coming to give him gift. No matter how well you are in the kingdom, favor will hit you left and right now. You're leaving this service to hear good news. Somebody's amen will confirm it. You know why I feel it's powerful? I'll share a testimony with you. We went to Warren and they brought a very fine Honda Sports car. So I was wondering why the car. They drove the car, no number, and parked it. And I turned, I said, What is this car for? This is for David. Your son is, this one is his car. What? I don't even know how to start Ignition. It doesn't even. <laughs> He doesn't even know how to start, but favor. So we're laughing. We say, you, this guy is our own. Nice, not his own, because he doesn't even know where. But say favor. Yeah. Say favor. Yeah. You don't have to be old to get car. At his age, he has two cars given to him, so he doesn't know how to drive. He can't drive at this age. We don't want him to drive. So he don't wait till he see when I'm old. Then no, 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 no. Fair voice. That is in worry or not in Padagot. Somebody is giving kind of worry, worry. We are, he has never been to worry in his life. Yet favor followed him there. You don't have to be old. True? Favor followed him to where? He didn't follow us to worry. He was not there. He's not even, know. maybe, except the school now is watching this service, then he will know that I'm saying his testimony. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't even know how to drive. Maybe he will know where the creed ignition, but nobody will allow him to drive at this age. But say favor. 
You don't have to go to America to get favor from America. Do you understand what I'm talking about? He has never been to a warning in his life. But favor came from him. So you don't have to travel to a nation to get favor from that. And I decree. Nations you have not traveled to, favor will hit you from there. Places you have not visited, people will remember you in those nations. Places you have never gone to, they will remember you in the name of Jesus. I'm speaking to someone in the name of Jesus. Say favor. You don't have to struggle for favor to come. I live in favor every day. My life is favor, favor, favor. I get, there's no way I will go to in this world. Don't say because they know me. Anywhere I enter, I'll get favor. Let me not carry any dime in my pocket and enter a nation. I'll get money from airport. <laughs> the kind of life I live is very funny. Let me forget to carry money now and enter somewhere. I'll get money more than what I ever think of. Favor will pursue you. A young man shared testimony today with me. It was to pay 120 million naira as a bill. As a what? A bill. They gave me a bill of 120 million. And he was doing kingdom work. He said his own, not him, he just said one of his junior people said, please go. I can't leave God work now. Go. The 120 million was written off free. Hello. Like favor? That is the testimony was shared with me an hour to service. You like that kind of favor? The right of 120 million. Not that you will pay. Don't bother. You like that testimony? You think favor is not real? It's real? You believe it? Now you will be the next. More things will still happen after now. The louder your amen, hear it. So I receive it. Any testimony you don't receive cannot duplicate itself. But if you receive it, greater testimonies in your life. That is what favor is all about. You don't have to kill yourself. God will write up the debt you are owing by favor in the name of Jesus. Somebody's debt will be written off as I'm talking now. If you believe it, say me. You don't have to pay a debt you are owing. God will just touch the person I write it off. Somebody as I'm speaking now, the debt will be written off. Miraculously as I'm talking in the name of Jesus doesn't matter how much is the amount. All you need is to... So you can say, well, I had favor. That's favor. Favor is you can't pay and they just say, since you can't pay, leave it. What is that? That's favor. And it will be so as I'm talking now. If you say amen with faith, you will see it happen. In the name of Jesus! Those who cannot pay genuinely, it will be written off. It's done. It's done. It's done. In the name of Jesus. So number two, one that to expect, supernatural promotion. Supernatural what? Promotion. Supernatural promotion. In Psalm 75, 6 and 7, for promotion cometh neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. That means it does not come from human connection. But God is the judge. He put that down one and set it up another. That means he has the power to bring people down to lift you. He has the ability to bring somebody down down just for your sake. He brought Vashti down to promote Esther. 
a slave today. As you praise him, I decree crown to change heads. In the name of Jesus, somebody will go down and you will rise. If you believe in shout and believe in a man. In the name of Jesus. So praise is the ladder to the top. It makes you a high flyer. He's the promoter. He put it down one and lifted up another. I prophesy. Go up in the name of Jesus. You go up in the name of Jesus. Go up in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name of Jesus. Be lifted in the name of Jesus. Someone goes down and you go up. Receive it in the name of Jesus. You go back to your office, they'll tell you you have been promoted. Amen. Your position will change after tonight. Amen. Louder your amen, you have it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be sitting in Habakkuk 3, 17 to 19. He said, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall the fruit be in the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the fish shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the field. And there shall be no hair in the stars. Yet I will rejoice. In the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God. Is my strength. And will make my feet at the highest feet. And will make me walk upon my high places. Praiseful Christians are always at the top. They just go up without sweat. This church goes up constantly. Church goes up, but as we praise God, every month we have, and no matter how thick, there must be one Sunday we used to praise God. We can preach anything, but we keep some time. And the more we praise Him, the more we go up. The more what? The least as at this month, this church is his times two of all the branches we have last December. More we multiply that as at this moment now. Everywhere we have times two. That the church has multiplied as at this month double. From December to January. Is anybody under any stress? Who is doing it? He lifts us up as we keep praising him. Minimum in this month you will be is double any blessing you are going to get. This month, oh, don't expect a long time. This month, when he hit you 10 million, but before you recover, 20 million. 10 billion, before you recover, 20 billion. This month, double blessings in someone's portion. This month, double blessings minimum. But multiple, multiple, multiple blessings. Shout aloud, amen, like a child of God. Number three, one that to expect a supernatural harvest. Supernatural what? Harvest. Supernatural harvest. Number one is what? Favor. Number two? And number three, natural harvest. Glory to God. In Psalm 67, 5 to 7. He said, let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth, underline the word yield, her increase. Underline earth and underline yield. And God, even our God, shall bless us. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall what? He will so bless us that they'll be afraid. They'll say, excuse me, oh, I know this man last week, oh. That's the meaning of, you will be so blessed, they'll be afraid. They'll be what? 
They say, excuse me, oh, I know what this man was going through last week. That is what God will do in someone who says amen. He said, all the ends of the earth shall do what? They will be afraid. They say, excuse me, this is not normal. The kind of blessing that we hit you and I will make people to be afraid of God. That kind of fear is the positive type. Not fear of being afraid. That fear that they say, ah, is it, wait, let me clean my eyes and see. Because you are the other day coming down from a motorbike and then this time you're coming with the Rolls Royce. In one month. They saw you in a rented house. And then, but this time, you just bought the estate. And they look at you and they say, excuse me, excuse me. They saw you tattered. Now they saw you wear dressed. They saw you last month, single. Now they say, well, that's your husband. Is somebody getting a miracle as I'm talking here? Let me say this to you. I'm going to explain something very deep to you. He said, the earth shall yield what? Everything that makes life comfortable is a product of the earth. The clothes you wear, from the earth. The money, from the earth. Everything that makes life comfortable is a product of the earth. And God said, the earth will not yield our increase until you praise. So anything I want more of it, I have to praise God. I want more money, praise. More food, praise. More clothes, praise. Anything good, praise. More cars, praise. More aircrafts, praise. More houses, praise. Anything that makes life comfortable. So the urge to keep producing, you keep praising. So here. Now, the level of your praise determines the measure of yield. The earth shall yield an increase. Yield here means release. Means what? So, fearful blessings, if it's your desire, then give him fearful praise. So the earth shall release. Blessings. How many can understand that coordinated? The earth shall yield. It means the earth will now release all that you desire. Do you understand now? That word yield means to what? So the earth will now release whatever belongs to you as you give God. So multiplication answers to praise. Answers to what? Fearful blessings. Then give God fearful praise. More praise. More blessings. More praise. More blessings. Now look at Acts chapter 2, 46, 47. And they continuing daily in one accord in the temple and the breaking of what? They were taking communion. That's why you say anytime we are fasting, we take communion. Somebody said, in fact, in the New Testament church, they were taking communion daily. How many days? Life to take communion at home. Don't make religion. You know, people have made communion religious, so they they come to church, closed door like cult. They were taking communion. Don't make religion out of communion. He said, and they continue daily in one accord in the temple and breaking bread from where? They were taking communion from houses. At home, take communion. They were breaking bread from house to house. That's communion. And look at what the Bible says. And did eat their bread with singleness of heart? Look at verse 47. Praising what? And have been with some people. And the Lord added to the church. So the easiest way for a church to grow is praise. Any church that does not praise, they won't grow. It's as they were praised, this church grows. There's no service will not have new members. There's no service will not have altar calls. Somebody will give his life. Every service God has to do. Every service somebody must give his life to there's no service will come that someone will not give his life. Is someone okay? going to say here? So, add praise. Add what? To anything you are doing, it will bring about additions. 
add praise to anything you are doing, it will bring about additions. If you want additions to anything, just add praise to it. Anything you're doing, add what? It will bring about additions. If you want more money, you have to give her. Add what? More will come. If you want more food, add what? Anything. Just add praise. You have more of it. Glory to God. Finally, number four for today. Hmm? Number four. Wonder to expect revelation. What do you expect? Revelation is the key to elevation. Paul said, I went up by revelation. Galatians 2 2, the A path. I went up by what? Revelation. Revelation is the ladder to your future. What praise does is to set the pace for insight. The altar of praise is the altar of revelation. Revelation comes from God. From who? Now listen carefully. In Deuteronomy 29, verse 29, it said, The secret things belong unto the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong at who? Belong to us and to our children forever. He said, For God has revealed them unto us by His Spirit. For His Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 10. Let me say this to you. If you don't know how to praise, you'll be revelation deficient. One day, Elijah wanted to hear from God. He said, bring me a misswell. Second Kings chapter 3 and verse 15. He said, bring me what? Down. And the moment the misswell began to play, the hand of God came on Elijah. Now, you don't need much to know about that concerning here. Because every time we worship and praise, you see me, I begin to see deep. Have you noticed? Just wash, just praise. Immediately you see me, I begin to get messages. I pray you have understanding. If you want to read Bible, get inside, hear from God, Praise God. You will see God unveil the scriptures to you. And what makes a man have a revolution on the earth is to have revelation from God's word. You cannot get revelation with a depressed spirit. All this where there's no melody, there will be tragedy. But where there's melody, there will be no tragedy. Make your choice. Create music around you. You will hear from God with ease. Let the atmosphere be filled with music. So I hear. You know why? It makes you have access to the deep things of God. Do you know every man of music is a man of revelation? Because praise lightens the environment. It lightens what? The environment. In Psalm 16, 11 and 10, I will read 11 and I will come back to 10. I will connect it. He said, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is what? So without joy, <laughs> listen, read it. If you read the Bible, you need to understand. Look at this verse. Thou will show me thy path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand, the right hand does not mean right hand. It means place of authority. Every time you see right hand, it's meaning place of what? When say Jesus at the hand of God, don't think that there's a chair. Right hand, it means he's at the place of, that's my right hand man. Does not mean you are the right hand of the man. Every time you say right hand, it's talking about place of authority. It said, thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of what? At thy place of authority, there are pleasures forevermore. For thou will not leave my soul in hell, neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see what? 
Where there's no music, there'll be corruption and pressure. Anywhere there's no what? Praise. There'll be corruption and what? Pressure. Anytime I'm under pressure, you are not with music. Music makes you know what to do in the midst of challenges. I hear God. No matter the challenge, once you make melody, you will hear God. He will tell you what to do. May you hear God clearly. That's why Satan will tell you, don't sing. He wants to punish you. He said, why are you, you, you singing? Because he knows if you sing, you will hear God. He said, don't sing. Complain. To compound your problems. Complain. Satan is a trickster. He said, don't sing. Why are you making melody? But at that moment, get up. Mama he said, my son, this challenge is the answer. You will pick Bible like this, you will enjoy Bible. Make melody, you will enjoy Bible. You will love, just create an atmosphere of melody, you will enjoy Bible. You will read Bible, you will see the spirit behind the word. The voice will be coming out. But just keep your face with him. As if the world has ended. You will carry Bible. Instead of seeing the Bible, you will see all the, all the troubles of this world. Want revelation? Live a praiseful life. Live what? Not join choir. Live a praiseful life. Because you can be in choir. And have people who sing and they complain. A praiseful life is even from joining choir. This is a live a choir life. Is a live what? That is, is your lifestyle. Not that you keep your face as if the whole world has ended. There are people who never laugh. If you say anybody frown, he's not a member of this church. He's a stranger. We don't frown here. Have you seen me frown before? Who will you look like if you frown? I'm your father. God in heaven laughs. Jesus laughed. Holy Ghost laughed. Me, I laugh. Then who will you look like? Yeah. Even more questions does not do like that. Who more questions? It's one of France. It's one that France. You want to know what's I don't know where the language came from. Go to my house, you'll find that. <laughs> Just come to my house, you'll know where the language came from. <laughs> I said, oh, more question. <laughs> I said, my wife, what is this? <laughs> he says, you more question. <laughs> Just visit me, you'll hear some funny, funny things. <laughs> he says, you more question. <laughs> question me, Satan. Except you are more question than you frown. But you are not Satan. Are you Satan? No. So why are you frowning up and down? There are some people they don't laugh. Even when you make them to laugh, they won't, they won't laugh. It's as if the world has ended. That's why they are revelation deficient. Because the atmosphere is so thick. And when it's thick, the only person that can come around is the devil. Now, check any night you frown, you get attacked. If you doubt it, go to bed with a depressed spirit, you get attacked. Because you have created an atmosphere for him to come down. You hear me? Music brings the spirit of God down. Depressed atmosphere attracts the devil. That's why every time you go to bed with a very heavy spirit, you see they'll pursue matted. <laughs> you see yourself jumping from tree to tree. But when you just go to bed with melody, you see God will start speaking to you. May God speak to you from today. Yeah. Are you hearing what God is saying? Yeah. Let me show you something, Isaiah 30, and then we'll be done for the next few minutes. 29, 30, and then verse 21. He said, shall we read 29 together? Want to go? And he shall have a song as in the world, with the holy solemnity is kept. And gladness of what? Take note. Gladness of what? Avoid depression. Avoid your heart being heavy. As one that goeth with what? To come into the mountain of the Lord. To the mighty one of verse 30. Together one to go. And the Lord shall cause what? Stop there. He shall cause what? When you come with a song, he will cause his voice to be heard. You will hear him clearly. See, when you sing here, you see me. 
It don't need to go far. Once we begin to, you see me hear God clearly. It creates an atmosphere for you to hear God. Just, just, just begin to sing now. You see me, I can hear it clearly. Uh, even if you don't want to understand Bible, understand me now and know the Bible. Once you sing here, you see me, you just tell me somebody with somebody is like this. I hear him clear. I hear God once you begin to sing. So create that kind of atmosphere in your life. And look at verse 21 of that same scripture. He said, then thy ear shall hear what? Saying, this is the way. Walk in it. When you turn to the right and when you turn to the left. So the easiest way to get revelation is from where? From praise. Everywhere I stay, I have music. I have an iPod in my office. I have an iPod in my lounge. When I am like that, I just play. When I, once I'm not studying, even when I'm reading, except I'm reading Bible, when I'm reading Bible, I don't, but when I'm just reading a book, I worship very low. So that as I'm reading the book, if you come to my house, every part of my house has music. No open part of my house without music. As you're entering our house, from the reception, music is playing, worship. You can't go to any part of the house without music. Slow music. Anywhere you pass, 247. No point of my house where you can walk. Everywhere there's a speaker playing music. So when you come, you're inspired. No nonsense. Don't go to your office, nothing is working. No, no, no. Low, very low. It doesn't disturb your neighbor. It doesn't disturb anybody. You are doing your work. But the thing is making shh. You will hear God 247. You get what I'm talking about? And it's not expensive. It's very cheap. So don't think it's expensive. You have bought home video. Bought theater. Put music. Put what? Because God's voice is what we call revelation. It's what we call revelation. The voice of praise is what brings down the voice of God. Now look at, for instance, the man David. He became a prophet to his music ministry. To his music what? All that David, David knew about the coming of Jesus. He knew about the crucifixion of Jesus. He was through music. The more he played music, the more God was giving him revelation. A man who was a king, yet he knew everything about the coming of Jesus. You are punishing yourself, not surrounding your environment with music. There are people who never sing. Every time they do like this. Say, bro, how now? Fine. You know, in our church, they say we should not talk like that, but fine. <laughs> Papa said, make we not talk, but you come. I will tell you my problem because I know you will understand. Bro, how now? I said, this woman that came, eh, she never, I did everything. I said, madam, don't come again, no. <laughs> she never laughed for one second. One, all the things we do in church, I would just be watching her. She just sit down like this. I said, this one, no. It's not our type. <laughs> in this church, this church will laugh. That's why revelation is 24 hours. Frowning is contagious. Don't stay around the complainer. Avoid to complain and frown. Otherwise, before you know it, you carry their nature. Stay around people who are always excited. Don't stay around someone who complains every time they come. They say, come. He said, don't worry. Now God is faithful. I know, but come. <laughs> there, are, there are people who never, 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 every time they have complained. He said, but God, I thank God for the shoe. But I want, well, the stock is, I have not got it. He said, okay, thank God for the stock. Is, uh, but, you know, you know, the shoe horn, I have not seen it. They have something to complain. Leave them alone. If you look at the man Paul, for instance, the Paul was a man of depth. Man of what? Paul had revelation more than anybody. And if you read the Bible of the New Testament, he was more of praise than all of them. I'll show you three scriptures and I close. Look at Paul, for instance. In 1 Corinthians 14, verse 15, he said, what is it then? I will pray with the Spirit. I will pray with understanding also. I will sing with the Spirit. Who is speaking? Paul. And I will sing with understanding also. Now, he was in prison. He was where? 
He said, rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I said, what? He was telling people outside to rejoice that don't bother about me. Me, I'm here singing. He wrote half of the Bible in prison. He was in prison, right? This epistles. He said, you, don't bother about me. Rejoice! Because he being here where I am, I am what? Rejoice. He was getting revelation in prison. May your eyes be open today. Yes. Say amen to that. Yes. That Peter could look at Paul and say, hey, this man is in a different class. Peter acknowledged that Paul was in a different class. Peter acknowledged. Look at the book of 2 Peter 3, 15 and 16. Then we get up to praise. See what Peter said about Paul. He said, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom God, given unto him, had written unto you. Look at 16. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, in which are some things hard to be understood. He said, poor kind of writing is in a different class. Check men of Revelation. If you listen to Bishop Edepo, it's in a different class. Aye. You, you may not understand. If, if you are just a young person, you won't understand where it's coming from. Beautiful is in a... And Beautiful is a... If you see me, praises 24 hours. Check Beautiful, he dances. Watch me, I dance. If you, if you listen to him, your place in another class in the world is in a different class of his own. It, these are encyclopedias. They are encycl- there are people who come encyclopedias of the Bible. People like that, we will sing. Permit me. There's always some inspiration. There's always what? To get inspiration. We always have what? To get? If you watch me, I like music. Too much, I like me. And if you watch, I come with simple revelations. Tip. He said, Peter said, Paul is in another class. That it is Paul is speaking. It is too deep. Too what? Why? Rejoice. And again, I say, what? That was the secret. He said, look, this man is a principal man. Paul never met Jesus. Face to face. Peter met Jesus. James met Jesus. But the man who never met Jesus wrote more than all of them. You can't preach the New Testament and not mention Paul. Before you quote Matthew, Mark, you must quote one of the epistles. A man who never met Jesus face to, but he was too deep. Too what? Too deep. You don't know what you're losing, frowning. If you know what you're losing, you won't frown again. If you medically to frown, you have more problems than laughter. So deep praise. Grants you access to deep revelation. When praise goes up, you climb up. Tell your neighbor, stop being depressed. If you know what you're missing, by making your face look bidding. <laughs> With joy shall you draw from where? With what? Isaiah 12 and 3. He said, therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of... So if you want to draw... I don't frown, no. I'm not kidding. You can't see me frown. <sniffs> Remember, you asked me, say, I've never seen you frown. Do you ever have any issue? I say, I don't frown. You can't see me frown. Lie, lie. Frown what? What, am I, what are you frowning for? You say, if you know what I'm going through, I won't laugh. <laughs> you know what other people are going through. <laughs> My friend, it's just your nature, just your nature. And change that nature. It's not godly nature. He that sees the level shall laugh. Even the Almighty God laughs. Who will you look like? All this frowning or frowning. Oh, yeah, stop. Tell me from today. Laugh. Smile. Make melody around the environment. When you're driving to work, play good music. Play what? 
Put me in a light to be zooming in your car. Music has two sources, from God and from the devil. So watch what you listen to. Never you sleep with music that is not godly. I can tell you, you will be getting inspiration from the devil. Never sleep with ungodly music. Never. Play, I play good music, inspired music. Inspired what? And not that, inspired music. You see the atmosphere. You walk into your office. There's no way to enter my house. If you can enter my from, I made it so that from my compound to my house is music. That's the new style. As I have the one for outside and I have the one for inside. Not the same. When you're entering my compound, music plays. The fountain, everywhere music plays. You enter my house, music plays. Everywhere music plays. There's no point of my house. It's only the rooms that I leave your privacy. But every external point has, not noise though, Quiet. As you enter the compound, you will hear the good music that I love. As you're driving in, it's playing. As you enter my perception, it's playing. As you enter the passage, it's playing. You enter the elevator, it's playing. That's, so no, no nonsense. Don't come to my house and frown. You are coming to visit me, you frown for me. I won't visit you. I won't, I'll tell you to go home. You come to visit me, you frown. You will go. Is it not my house? Is it your house? If you come to my house, frown, you will never come again. For what? Are you the owner of my house? That's how to live your life. That's how to... You'll be getting inspiration without sweat. This is how you become a wonder to your world. Number one, supernatural faith. You praise him and God will favor you. Number two, Supernatural promotion. Number three, supernatural harvest. And number four, revelation. Rise to your feet. We are going to praise God in these four areas. We are going to praise God in what? For God to make a wonder in these four areas. God make this church a wonder. In what? Number one, favor. Number two, Number three. And number four. And do the same for your son and his family. And do the same for you and those who are connected to salvation. Generally. Is that true? You are going to praise God in the four areas. For the next ten minutes. Lord, cause your church. In the harvest area, say, Lord, multiply salvation. When it comes to harvest, multiply us. The harvest should be heavy, beginning from this Sunday, beginning from this Sunday. Promote your church. Favor your church. And let there be ceaseless revelation. Everyone that comes here will, will have understanding of the word of God. <laughs>
is full of unrest. Money has failed. Human intellect is not working. You need Jesus. In him you will find peace and rest. Jesus said, Come to me all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens and I will give you rest. Those who are not going to say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that you died and rose from the dead to save me. Right now with my mouth, I declare you Lord over my life. Thank you Father for saving me. In Jesus name. Thank you for watching. 
To watch our live services, visit our website at www.snhos.org. If you want us to pray or counsel you, please call. You can also stay connected through any of these our social media accounts. This message is brought to you by Salvation Ministries Home of Success.